Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on December 15th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking at space weather, world weather, and as well earthquakes and volcanoes. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun. Our last update, we were talking about the active sunspot regions. And yes, they are very active. Many B and C class flares over the past 48 hours watching a very sparkly, fiery region in the southern hemisphere of the sun. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we have one, two, three, four active sunspot regions that are coming into an earth-facing position. And it looks like there's another one in behind it, along a line there of sunspots. Looking at outgoing imagery, not much to show here at all except for plasma erecting from the surface. Earth to scale is just amazing. Amazing planet we're living on. So another closer look here at the sunspot regions. They're active B-class, C-class, and almost an M-class flare. In the last image here, you'll see that bright flash through this region right here. And that was our strongest flare the last 48 hours on the sun. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see all of the events of the last 48 hours, mostly on the cresting and incoming part of the sun. We also have a coronal hole that is developing just north of the sunspot region. And we are now being affected by the coronal hole wind stream in which I reported three days ago is now hitting us with over 500 kilometer per second solar winds. Looking at 171 angstroms here, showing the outgoing coronal hole and as well the one I was talking about just north of all of the sunspots that are producing the B and C class flares. Looking at the ISPOS-based prediction spiral, you can see the solar flares. And the largest here just recently, as I said, was just under an M-class, so a pretty large C-class flare directed right at the Parker Solar Probe. It's going to be some interesting views coming from there. Solar X-ray flux elevated, of course. Geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated as well as we are being hit by the coronal hole wind stream. Highest frequency affected today, looking at minor interference. Lasco 2 and 3 showing the, the solar flare events. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 516 kilometers per second, but we were jacked up to about 550 earlier today. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 8. Still a pretty calm Schumann resonance spiking here and there I'm sure with the sun activity quality of a 9.3 let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours a busy planet across the world especially across North America here 4.8 the largest throughout the region Baja California at a 10 kilometer depth 4.8 as well Gardendale Texas seeing a 3.6 and a 2.9 and gypsum Kansas still seeing those earthquakes and this is right in the area of all of the extreme weather right now very interesting indeed minor activity along the coastline of California as well a 3.1 here to report Paradise Valley Nevada Couple 2.6s there. Stanley, Idaho. Overlooking Hawaii, they saw a couple large earthquakes today 3.0 and 3.1. Or sorry, they saw numerous earthquakes today, largest being a 3.1. Six kilometer depth, pretty shallow earthquakes for Hawaii today. Normally they're around a 34 to 36 kilometer depth. Overlooking Alaska, Rat Islands here, largest reporting a 4.3, 3.7 moving in, a lot of minor activity through Anchorage, 
Izu Islands, Nishinashima, and as well a couple uh, in the Volcano Islands region under Japan, many earthquakes, and as well Ishigaki, Japan, 4.7 there, Southern Island, and as well Santa Monica, Philippines, 4.9, and still seeing a lot of activity and aftershocks through Indonesia, Vitong, Indonesia, as well as King Kong, And another volcano awakening through Papua New Guinea, Kokopo, Papua New Guinea, and the Manam, a volcano just awoke two days ago. 4.7 here to report, Kermadec Islands, and as well our deepest earthquake today, Fiji Islands reporting a 4, or sorry, 5.1 at a 438 kilometer depth. South America, pretty quiet today. Activity through the South Sandwich Trench. As well, Greece seeing a 4.5 here in Agio, Greece. And Palikestro, Greece as well, 4.2. 4.7 here in Kalula, Somalia. And a 5.0 here in Iran, a 10 kilometer depth right along the Arabian Plate. And Quebec, Tajikistan. 4.8 and a 4.9 there in the middle of Russia, right in the middle of the polar vortex. Very interesting indeed. Let's just have a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes. We're still seeing a lot of deep earthquakes for the past seven days, expecting a larger shallow earthquake here to follow, but not before a deep earthquake event, which I'm sure we're going to go through over the next 24 hours. So heads up, stay aware and prepared and stay tuned to Morning Dew. As well, we've always got the live stream going. Come on in and say hi at any time and check out live earthquakes, space weather, and world weather. And that is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Largest being the 7.5 that occurred in Indonesia. A lot of activity through North American plate as well with the Oregon Swarm. Now, let's get to severe weather. We're looking at lightning across the storm that is produced over three tornadoes and many tornado watches. This storm started in Colorado, not before dumping about a foot of snow through Utah overnight. But then look at that thing roll out of Colorado right into Nebraska and South Dakota. And then it's going to be moving northeastward towards Wisconsin and Iowa. So heads up, stay aware and prepared. A lot of tornado warnings embedded with this big storm. And we're going to start out here in Des Moines, Iowa, as well as Topeka, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, La Grosse, Wisconsin, Quad Cities, Iowa, South Dakota, Minnesota, Twin Cities, boy, oh boy. Thoughts and prayers to everybody affected here over the last December here. Strange tornado outbreak. Giving you a list of all of the volcanoes erupting here. Most recently updated. We've got about a dozen around the world. Most notable is the Manam that has awakened and as well Santa Maria. So please stay tuned. We do have the volcanic activity report, which will be coming tomorrow. And as well, we will be looking at planetary positions for our solar system. So stay tuned tomorrow for that. And if you ever want to get this app, get this for yourself, Pacific Disaster Center. You can see all of these active hazards. There are 105 right now. Very active weather across the world. Winter storms across uh, Nunavut and Manitoba. Northern Quebec, as well, winter storms through California and Northwest Pacific, United States. We've got Typhoon Rai, who has been spinning now for three days and is affecting the Philippines tonight and is projected to increase in strength over the next couple, of the next 24 hours into a category three. Now let's have a look at a five day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and as well, daily events worldwide. Got a lot going on today. Tornado warnings across three states 
And that's now two tornado outbreaks in the past seven days across the United States. Extreme weather long into the start of winter here. Heads up, everybody. Stay safe. Let's have a look at Ontario weather here the next few days. That low pressure system scooting just north. And it's going to bring quite a bit of snow and rain for parts of northern Ontario, Ontario and eastward up into Quebec. But big, cold, high-pressure ridge coming in from the Northwest Territories and as well a strong one coming in from Alaska. Look at parts of Alberta here, minus 33. Just north of Calgary, minus 30. And that's going to creep eastward through the prairies. And then watch as the low-pressure system heads into the Hudson Bay to lock in that polar vortex. Also got system that will develop here through the United States, southern United States into Texas and Arkansas. You've got an extreme weather event that will be breaking out in a three-day forecast. Low pressure center will be scooting right up the coast and northeastwards towards Atlantic Canada. Atlantic Canada will be smashed by a high-pressure ridge, a cold one, overlooking the Atlantic. Interesting developments here as well, but the path of the low-pressure systems. Now watch, low-pressure systems scoot straight north into Greenland. Boy, oh boy. Overlooking Europe, high-pressure ridge still dominant throughout the next two to three days, but then you've got an encroaching low from the Atlantic, we also still have a low-pressure system grinding up here into parts of Greece and into Turkey. Watch for heavy snow in the higher elevations and as well torrential downpours. You've got a winter storm in parts of western Russia and eastern Europe on the border. And cold temperatures funneling down behind it. Minus double dig digits in parts of eastern Europe. And as well, cooling down through the Arabias this week. Overlooking Russia the next five days. Watch this high pressure ridge build in and really cold temperatures come in behind. And a lot of snowfall ahead of the high pressure ridge right along the convergence line. Parts of southern Russia. Eastern Russia showing here minus 53. And that's without the wind chill, folks. And that big high pressure ridge is going to help funnel that, funnel all of that cold air eastward. As well, you've got a big system here that headed out of the Koreas across Japan and is going to end up in Kamchatka. It's going to bring a lot of heavy snow. And as well, tracking a lot of lows eastward towards Alaska. Overlooking Southeast Asia. You've got Tropical Cyclone Rai, who is forecast to head over the Philippines the next 48 hours and then head into parts of South China, Hong Kong, and then probably ride up the coastline in the long-range forecast. There was a tropical system heading into the Indian Ocean, has since dissipated. Overlooking Australia, not much to talk about. High-pressure ridge. Is pretty dominant across the continent because of these really warm temperatures, of course. Other than that, you've got a low pressure system heading towards southeastern parts of Victoria in three days from now. And look at all these very warm temperatures across from west to east across Australia. Also had a tropical cyclone through New Caledonia, which I forecasted a couple of days ago, has since dissipated. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Interesting low that will be heading from the west towards Hawaii in the long range forecast. So dry, but then lots of rain. Yet again, tropical moisture moving in. Overlooking central regions, you could have a pretty big system developing in the Gulf of Mexico. So again, stay tuned to Morning Dew, five-day forecast. Try to give this every day. Overlooking South America, big tight low that's grinding up into parts of Paraguay and Bolivia. 
Other than that, daily evaporation rains, stormy conditions through Bolivia. Long line of moisture heading out off the, the border of Brazil as well. Big long line of moisture stretching to Antarctica. Pretty cool temperatures moving into parts of North Africa this week. Other than that, no major weather systems affecting you. Get a minor low pressure system in South Africa. They will be bringing coastal rain. Other than that, no major weather to report across the continent. I'm going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out all of the major weather systems that are spinning across our planet right now, both poles. Speaking of which, where's our new North Pole? Where's our new South Pole? Because something is off big time. That's all I can say. Much love to y'all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Prayers for our humanity. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.